What is up guys, it's Troy at The Full Setup here, back with another streaming tutorial guide. And today I'm gonna to show you how you do all of the routing options on the new Revelator Dynamic Microphone. So that includes getting all of your stream mix into OBS, how you set up your Discord chat so you don't have any loopbacks. So we're gonna create a mix minus um, by using some of these other stream mixes that we've got here. Everything to do with all the headphone mix, just generally all the routing, Zoom, Teams, Discord, anything that you would wanna use this for, I am gonna show you how to do it today. Now we're only gonna be looking at the routing settings today, okay? Um, that's the only thing that we're gonna be looking at. I have a separate video where I go through all of my DSP settings, everything that I've been using with this microphone and a full walkthrough on that. So make sure you subscribe, go and check that video out. There is also a full review of this microphone where I compare it to the Beacon microphone as well. So definitely go and check that one out too. So before we get started, there's a couple of things that you can do up here in the settings that I really like. And that is that you can set an output delay. So whether it's on one and two, three and four or five and six, you can then set a millisecond delay on it. This is actually very good for syncing up with your camera. Um, it's one thing that I use quite often when I'm using OBS virtual camera. You can add delays in OBS, but when you actually output audio um, from here using, say, like a virtual cable from OBS into um, Teams or Zoom, it doesn't actually take that delay output. So on this, you know, when I'm using virtual camera in here, I actually just feed the audio from my Revelator um, series, whether it's their interface or this dynamic microphone. And then I just add in a like audio delay afterwards, which is now crackling in my head. So that's just something you can do on here. You can also have channel mute sync as well. So that just mutes everything across all channels. A couple of little bits you can do. And when you're done as well, you can actually store it as a scene because when you say to the profiles, that only actually saves your DSP, okay? It doesn't save your gain settings or your levels and stuff. So that's something that I would recommend. So the first thing is then I wanna show you what all of these these mixes are. So we've got a main mix, two sub mixes, and what they are in the Windows sound settings. Okay, this also works with Mac, pretty much the same thing. If you'd like me to make a Mac videos on this, just let me know, and I'd be happy to do that. So the main mix is essentially mic one and two. So mic one and two doesn't take any of these virtual inputs over. So if I just play some music now, you can see that's playing through. But if this microphone here was set to mic one and two, it wouldn't bring any of this stuff through. Now this is my gain level here. So as you can see, as I'm coming through, I'm gonna sort of show you how this routes. So my audio comes through up here and then hits the DSP. The DSP is pre-fader. So it doesn't matter if I add 10 dB in here, that isn't gonna start adding 10 dB into this um, fat channel, okay? Another thing as well is when you increase the gain on the main one, it doesn't actually increase the gain on your mic one and two recording. Obviously this gain does, but if you wanted to add additional digital gain here through the slider, it doesn't actually do anything. It's just increasing the noise in my headphones. If you hold alt and press, it just centers it back to zero. And I think it's just command on the Mac and that centers it back to zero. So this is just your personal mix. What we need to be using are the stream mixes, stream mix A and stream mix B. So this is stream mix A and this is stream mix B. And that is what we are using into OBS, okay? We have our mic set to Stream Mix A. You could use whatever one you want, but I think this is your main mix, and then this is gonna be our chat mix. Stream Mix B, we're gonna use for chat. So how do we bring audio into the device then? Well, these three inputs, we've got playback, virtual output A, and virtual output B, are these three devices on your playback, okay? It gets a bit confusing, so it's almost like you're doing outputs and inputs. One way you're outputting it and the other way you're inputting it. So these show as outputs on here, but they become inputs on the mixer and then output to OBS. Not an easy thing to explain, but I hope I covered it there. So let's have a little look here. So I've got my desktop set to playback. And then we'll just... Turn that dreadful stuff off. But this is what I use for system sounds and game sounds. You could use one of the other ones if you just want to set your game to one fader and, and set that by a mixer. And I'll show you that with my music one, okay? But I just prefer to have all my game sounds and system sounds set to playback. 
So the next two are virtual output A and B, and you can rename these. I've renamed them music and chat. So here you go. If we play some something again on Amazon Music. So to set this, you just go to the advanced sound mixer in Windows. And as you can see here, I've got Amazon Music. I have two for some reason. Set to virtual output A. Okay, so output A, we are outputting to virtual output A, and it is becoming an input on Stream Mix A. Again, sounds a little confusing. It's quite easy once you play along with it. And you could set anything you wanted to virtual output A. It doesn't have to be music. It could just be your game. Okay, you could just literally come in here, find your game. I haven't got any open and just set it to that. Okay, that's what you could set it to. And it'd be the same if you were setting up, say, Spotify, Apple Music. It's all the same. Set it to virtual output A. The reason I do it A and I keep B on chat is because I know that my stream mix B is reserved for chat. So I just like to keep both things on B so it's plain and simple. Okay. So let's talk about Stream XB then. Now, Stream XB is what you're going to send to Discord, Teams, Zoom, any web chat, Google Meet, doesn't matter what it is. That is what you're going to use, Stream XB. And the reason we're using that is because if we sent it Stream X A and then we turned up the chat here, so this was them talking through, they're going to hear themselves back again. So what we need to create is what's called a mix minus. Okay. So, so we're going to send them Stream X B. And for this channel, we've got everything muted. Now, you could decide that you wanted to play them some audio from your computer or send them some music. It might be something that you're doing an interview or a podcast. You want to share that audio. So do it. Turn it up. But just don't turn up this one because this is going to be them talking to themselves again. So if I just go into Discord here, you can see my input device, which is this device here is Streamix B and the output device is Virtual B. OK, so that's all we're doing. We are sending them B and then we are outputting it back in here. So this would be your chat sounds. And this is the great thing about having all these sub mixes because this is my main mix here. OK, main mix. You know, I want my games loud. I want my music low. I might not even want it on at all. And then I want my chat as well to cut through the mix. Now, when you're doing a stream, it's going to be a bit different. You want your voice to cut through the mix. OK, so you're going to have your game lower, your music lower, but you're going to have your friends on chat higher. Another great thing as well on the main mix is you can just turn the microphone down. It's still recording. You don't have to, like I'm doing right now, monitor yourself while you're gaming. You can just mute that thing right down. Now, as you can see here on these channels, we haven't really got enough gain coming in on the mic. So that's where on stream mix A and B, you can just increase that. So whether you're adding in more makeup gain on your compressor or you're just increasing it on the fader here, I think it's better to do it there than to be just raising this fader right up. And also, as you start to bring these levels up, I would recommend turning the limiter on as well. I just literally set it to like minus one or minus two, and that's going to stop you clipping. OK, so that is how I set it all up. So just one last overview on it. Main mix, headphone mix. None of this stuff plays in. The fader doesn't turn anything up. It's mic one and two. It only turns it up in your headphones. Stream mix A. Now, this audio does come through. It does go into the DSP and then you can add in more gain with the fader afterwards. You then set your playback. So here we go. We've got the playback down here. That is going to bring you in all of your game sounds, your system sounds, all of that stuff. We then have virtual output A, which we've reserved for our music, and virtual output B that we've done for our chat. We have then set that in here in OBS to Stream Mix A. And then right here down at Stream Mix B, we've got everything muted for now. Again, you might want to turn it up, but just don't turn up B. Because if you turn up B, you're going to be sending their chat straight back to them and they're not going to be happy with you. And again, you can adjust the gain to suit to make it louder. Honestly, for like, I don't know, Discord and Zoom and Teams and stuff, I just normally leave it on auto just so I know that it's always going to be a healthy level because I know that I've got a good signal before I'm sending it in. Anyway, that is the routing guide. Make sure you go and check out the other videos. If you have any questions, please do let me know in the comment section. If you set yours up a little bit differently, share how you do it. Share what different software that you use. Maybe it's just some little quirks, some cool features that you found that I've not noticed. Let me know. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I need to sell myself more and I'll be back with some more videos very soon.